everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Pride Investigator Vice podcast. My name is Andrew Kidd, and this is going to be episode 108. And the title of this podcast is 16 Must Read Books for Private Investigators. Um, I'm going to break down books for that are written by private investigators and some that aren't. Uh, so you'll learn you're going to the books that I'm going to be talking about have some to the technical side of investigations, uh, some of it starting a business stuff. And then the other stuff's the soft skills are both equally important. And I've come across some really good books that I've read over the years that would be a huge benefit for you in your career, whether you're uh, you know, just getting into the career, uh, in the career, or maybe you're a business owner. And so they all be a benefit. Before I get into that, I want to ask a couple favors from you. The first favor I want to ask from you is if you listen to this uh, through your podcasting app or whatever it is, do me a favor, subscribe to the podcast. That sends a signal to these other, uh, you know, uh, platforms that uh, I need to be ranked up high enough for other people to find me. So I would truly appreciate that. And uh, if you would, please give me a review on those podcasts. Um, You know, if you really enjoy it, a five star rating would be much appreciated. Uh, And so also if you're on YouTube and you're watching this podcast on YouTube, fantastic. I appreciate it. Uh, Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up as you're watching this. All right. So let's jump into some books here. Now, uh, there's 16 books I'm going over. They're in no particular order, even though I'll kind of give you my top picks. And um, the first book that I'm going to get into uh, is not the best book that I'm going to recommend to you, but it is a good book. And that is my book. Of course, I'm going to put my book in here. Why wouldn't I? So uh, Want to Become a Private Investigator is the name of the book. Uh, tips and things I wish I would have known uh, before becoming a private investigator. I'm going to share some uh, some insights that you should consider when you're jumping in. I'm going to it's going to it's it's a book for private investigators that are private investigators or I'm excuse me people that are already private investigators, people that want to be private investigators. So everybody's going to get a little bit from the book. Uh, it talks about investigator life, uh, negative aspects. If you know me, I try to talk people out of this occupation because I know uh, so many negative aspects of it. Uh, dealing with surveillance pressures, investigator resume tips, uh, what to what to what to ask when you're you know interviewing for a position with an investigation company, where to find jobs, surveillance vehicle must haves, things of that nature. So and, and much much more. So definitely uh, take a look at that book. Uh, and if you decide to buy it, and and by the way, all the books that I'm going to share with you, if you decide to pick it up, uh, you know, get, give a positive review to those books. Uh, I want more people to find the books that I'm recommending to you because I think they're good, uh, including my own. All right. All right. The next book I want to recommend to you is actually from a friend of mine. It's Larry Kay. I've reviewed this book before, but I want to make sure you know about it. It's 51 Dirty Tricks. Bad Guys Really Hate. Sneaky Tactics Used by Police, Private Investigators, and Bounty Hunters. Again, written by Larry Kay. I read this book years ago. In fact, I read it on the Kindle version. And uh, I, I didn't know what I was going to, I didn't know what to expect from the book. And what I found out is, you know, some of the stuff that I did know in the book, um, but there's a, there's some nuggets in there. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in if I can get some nuggets out of whatever I paid for, then it's worth it. You know, not, not everything, you know, I might take a, a course in something. And if, if I've taken 20% like new nuggets, Oh, the money that I spent on that was totally worth it. Because, you know, of course, there's some knowledge you're just going to know. But I think uh, Larry did a really great job with this book. It was one of his first books that he put out there. uh, And I would highly recommend reading it. There are some nuggets in there for sure that you may not have uh, thought of uh, when it comes to being a private investigator. So check that out. Uh, By the way, just to give another plug for Larry, uh, he's, he's just a really good guy. He has been serving the investigative community for I think uh, either just before I started uh, doing it or right after. I can't remember. I'll have to double check on that. But he's been doing this for a very long time, uh, putting up YouTube videos. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Buy his books uh, and check him out. He's a great guy. All right. The next book I got for you. It's called Ego is the Enemy. We all have a little bit of ego some more than others. In fact, the reason I uh, picked up this book personally was because I felt like I had a little bit of an ego problem and it was not even related to um, uh, investigations. It was related to other things in my life. And uh, I had always saw this book at the bookstore. I love going to the bookstores. That's just, you would, if you would ask me that 
in high school, I would have laughed. I like never read any books. And of course, you know, I read books all the time now. But uh, I kept seeing this book and I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait till I hear some stuff about it. And um, at first, I can't remember how I actually ended up checking it out, but I ended up getting, buying it for myself and reading it. And I believe I listened to the Audible version first. And then I've, I like most books that I do, I'll do Audible. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff information here. Uh, I'll buy the book and highlight a bunch of stuff in there as it speaks to me so I can quick reference it. A little bit harder to do that in an audio book. But uh, the, uh, the author's name is Ryan Holiday. He also has written some other books, including another book that I, I really enjoy, uh, The Obstacle is the Way. I would recommend both books, even though that's not formally in this um, book review thing. But uh, I think he does a great job at uh, setting the tone about what ego is, what ego isn't, and sharing a lot of stories uh, and history about people and their egos. So I, I would definitely um, check that out. Definitely a good I think everybody, whether a private investigator or not, should read this book. Uh, it gives some insights about how ego can destroy relationships. And so it's definitely good to get ahead of it. If you don't have an ego problem, great. You know, pick up the book if you do. And maybe you don't know, but read it. And you may find out that you do. And you go, oh, man, I got to change some stuff. Uh, that's what I did. And I really, I believe this this book is very valuable. So definitely check that out on Amazon. Uh, again, all the links to all the books that I'm going to share are going to be in the show notes. The next book I want to recommend is The Complete Idiot's Guide to Private Investigating. Uh, you know, I, I was always skeptical of these books years ago. I mean, they've been, this, this series of Complete Idiot's Guide has been around for a very long time. And uh, this this book was one of the first couple books that I purchased as a private investigator. And what I found was, is this book provided more information for me uh, as a new investigator than uh, hands-on training, I, I, you know, which is kind of uh, weird, right? But the, the company I work for, I learned, I learned stuff in here that I wasn't being taught in the field or by the people that were teaching me. And so this filled in a lot of gaps for information and knowledge. And I would, if there's any first book to get as a private investigator, this is the one. Like, I can't rave about this book enough. I have this, I have a uh, version, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, whatever, the first version of it. There's there's the, the third version of it out now. It's just an updated version. So uh, pick it up, highly recommend it. And give it a give it a five star rating uh, because I just think it's a really great book for investigators. So definitely check that out. The next book I would recommend you guys pick up is called The Pretext Playbook: Instruction Manual for Intentional Misleading Fabrication by James O'Reilly. I read this book a couple years ago during COVID. I had time on my hands and uh, I was looking for books on pretexting. I was I was interested to see what was out there. Uh, what was being shared and this book came up and I bought it and I read through it uh, cover to cover actually and uh, so here's what I'm going to tell you you're going to find in here you, you may see things in here where you're like mm, no I, I can't find a, I, I guess they're not all going to be home runs right probably these these pretexts that you're going to read in this book but the author sourced these pre uh, pretexts from, from other people in the investigative community when I read it uh, there were some things in there where I'm like, oh, well, that's pretty good. That's a good one. And there were other things in there where I'm like, mm, no, this is this doesn't feel right. I, I uh, you know, uh, this feels icky. And uh, but anyways, if there's anything I want you to get from this book, I want you to read it. Um, and uh, maybe maybe you do use some of the pretexts in there. Maybe it helps you come up with one that's specific to maybe an investigation you're working that you could find some knowledge. Anyways, I wanted to ignite your ma imagination and uh, you know help you create your own pretext uh, ideas in the field as needed. The next one I want to recommend to you is The Speed of Trust, uh, The One Thing That Changes Everything by Stephen M. R. Covey. Uh, I read this book, uh, Audible. <laughs> again, again, when I'm in the field and I'm working surveillance, I can't sit there and, and look down at a book. So as I'd be following people, I'd be listening to audiobooks, And this was one of them. And I honestly, I can't remember. Uh, it might have been on a podcast or something that someone recommended this book. Thank goodness I bought it. It 
It fundamentally changed the way I looked at relationships and trust. Um, I, I think I did not have a complete understanding of of trust as it related to relationships and how that works. I, there is no better book written on trust, in my personal opinion, than this book right here. And and anybody in it doesn't even have to be investigation related. But you will see if you read between the lines, you can look through the the lens of this book through a, an investigator. But uh, it, it it fundamentally changed the way I looked at it, and it has made me better as a result because I understand trust, and I understand when I lose it, and I understand I'm I'm ahead of the game at not losing it because I've read this book. So, um, I trust isn't always what you think it is. So. Definitely have this in your library. Get it on Audible. Uh, a fantastic book for for anybody, really. The next book I want to recommend to you is the California Private Investigator Legal Manual by David D. Queen. So this book truly is a hidden gem and is very well written for private investigators. Um, though, you know, it says California in the title. I think it, it can apply to any investigator in the United States um, because of you know it talks about court cases and things of that nature. Um, I, I just think it's invaluable. Uh, in the description, it states of this book uh, covers more than 150 topics, analyzes more than 180 court cases and federal and state statutes. This book needs to be in your library as a private investigator. Again, I talk about those nuggets. I mean, there's been things and there was things in there. I'm like, oh, that's what I was looking for. That's what I needed to read. And I'm so thankful that I have it in my library. I need to actually go through it again. All right. All right. So we've been having, you know, we're talking about a little bit of private investigator books and a little bit of personal development books, the soft skill stuff. And and this one's going to be more of a sales uh, book for you. This book was re uh, recommended to me by a good friend of mine who is a CEO of a very large company. And uh, he said, you got to read this book. You got to read this book. So I did. In fact, I again, audible version, but this wasn't that long ago. I only re I read this a couple of years ago. And it's uh, go for no. Yes is the destination. No is how you get there by Richard Fenton. It's in story form, right? There's, I don't know if you've ever read books where it's like, you know, they're teaching you, but you're listening to this story. Uh, it's, you know, a fictional story. That's how this book goes. Uh, I, I think the audible version is very well done. But the, the main idea of this, and, and I do want you to read this book. It's a short read, by the way. So uh, it, it, it basically says, like, in order to get to the yeses, you got to get to the noes. You, know, you really need to embrace the noes. When I say noes, it's the rejections right so you need to be okay with the rejections and guys when, when we're doing uh, investigative work we're gonna get rejected a lot and, and people aren't kind of cooperating and things of that nature and, and that's not where i'm coming from but really when it comes to building a clientele and going out there and meeting people and being turned down for work we need to be okay with that because the more no's you go through the more yeses you're going to find and, and that's you know in short that's the nugget of this book but the book articulates it so much better. So definitely pick that one up. Uh, I'll have the link in there for you. All right. The next recommendation I have for you is how to start a private investigation business, a proven blueprint for success. Um, you know, I, I've written some stuff on starting PI business and I, I think this author really narrows it down. Like starting a private investigation business doesn't have to be complicated. And he, he lays out the things that you need to cover. Uh, and so there, there's really good information. The one thing about this book is, though, it doesn't get all meta into every little topic. So it's going to make you aware of it. It's going to bring it to your attention, uh, you know, because every state's a little bit different. So but, hey, you need to pay attention. To this. You need to do this. Uh, you're, you're aware. You're, you're aware of it. Sometimes being aware of things is half the battle. And that's what this book's going to be good for. The author's name is Edward Pansino. Uh, he brings 16 years of experience to this book. Not just as a private investigator, but also from an intelligence field and security matters as he's worked for the U.S. military and U.S. State Department. So, what again, wouldn't be a bad book uh, to have on your shelf, uh, especially if you're just starting a business, to make sure you have all the things you need covered that you need covered. Uh, but if you want, if you aspire to start your own business, you're, you know, aspire, just want to just jump right in or you're already a private investigator, definitely check this book out. So the next book I want you guys to check out, see if it's a good fit for you, is Sleuthing 101 
Background Checks and the Law. Now, this book was written back in the day in 2005, and it was really written for like just a regular business, not necessarily an investigator. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's packed with some things that can give you that you should know about doing background checks uh, and the law. So the book's dense in a good way. It's, you know, it's thick. It's kind of meta in regards to background checks. But uh, I think you'll find some value from it. And, I'll, and it's probably not going to be very expensive because it's an older book. Uh, but definitely check it out. Um, you know, no, and I, and this will always be a theme with me as I talk to you guys. And knowing a lot of the laws is going to be incredibly important in the investigation world. You don't want to break the law unknowingly, right? You don't want to be caught off guard. You want to be kind of aware of that because, you know, uh, you just don't want to be caught in a bad situation because you didn't know. So again, uh, this will help you with that. Now, on that note, the next book that I'm going to recommend to you is incredibly ex uh, inexpensive and small. It's called The Private Investigator Legal Pocket Guide. It could literally fit in your pocket. Now, uh, this this pocket guide is a really quick reference guide for laws related to private investigation industry. But in fact, the author has actually written a more um, extensive version of this book uh, with over 300 court cases that have been researched. Um, and I would also recommend that book. Again, I'll, I'll put the links in there. But again, laws are incredibly important. Uh, the quick reference guide is good to have on hand. You may come across, maybe you're a new investigator, you may come up, maybe you're an old investigator, but you may come across some laws you're like in the, in the States. You're like, oh, oh, I didn't know that I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be doing that. Again, um, we want to make sure that we're aware of these things. And so, all right, the next one, the next one is called Building a Brand, excuse me, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Now, this is more of kind of like a marketing book for for you as an investigator. And I, and I want you to read this book through the lens of a private investigator as you're marketing your business. And uh, when I read this, I mean, I, I can't get too much into it because I'll never be able to articulate it like he did. He does in the book. But um, it, it's basically where we make our clients uh, the hero in the story. And um, it's important. It's going to be an important factor uh, in acquiring more clients and getting referrals and things of that nature. So, uh, it's again, it's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. I, I think the Audible, Audible book is good. I would definitely listen to it that way. And he's got some other free resources for you, too. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, it's stuff that Cindy and I are doing in our other businesses, uh, leveraging some of this knowledge. I've actually talked to my graphic designer about this author and they're like, oh my gosh, yes, we love this this author. And uh, and it, it helps you change the way you look at selling and marketing. And I'm a big advocate of not, you know, you always want to go with things that work, of course, but don't be afraid of trying things, uh, you know, and other types of things to help market yourself as a private investigator. The... Uh, the next book I recommend for you guys is called The Five Levels of Leadership. I read this book, oh boy, I want to say about four or five years ago. And it has had a huge impact on my own life. Um, leaders aren't aren't born. Uh, they are definitely developed. Uh, I, I, I think uh, the younger version of myself heard people you know, would say that all the time, right? Like, uh, you know, I was born a leader. Hmm. No, you might have, you know, some skills that you grew up with, maybe watch your parents or leaders around you, but I don't think leaders are born. Uh, so I would recommend to this to private investigators who own a business with employees or people who manage an investigation company or investigators who aspire to be leaders. It's a big eye opener as to the, the different basically types of leaders there are and, and why people follow them. And um, and you want to, if you read it, you'll understand, but you want to work up the different level. You want to be on level five. That's like the highest level of leadership that you could have with folks. So um, definitely check that book out. I can't rave about John Maxwell enough and uh, his books, especially this one. With that being said, my next book recommendation is Developing the Leader Within You 2.0. Uh, I wrapped up uh, a book club with some other uh, coaches and um, this book opens up even, even my eyes even more and, and the great thing about John Maxwell is he integrates he'll take a topic and he'll he'll narrow it down 
and he'll break it up. So he'll take a big topic and then make like six books out of it. And 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 so in this book, you know, being a good leader will not only change your you want to be a good leader in your family. You want to be a good leader in your business. Uh, and in and, and any of those, it'll change the, the trajectory for a, in a positive way if you're a good leader. So there's no finish line. You know, you're not going to arrive. Um, I think that's the biggest downfall in, in developing personally is you think you arrive. Um, not, uh, even John Maxwell himself has been teaching leadership for ages, still knows that he hasn't arrived. He's not the person he wants to be in leadership or just in general. So uh, Developing the Leader Within You 2.0 by John Maxwell. Definitely check that out. I love that book. Love it, love it, love it. My next one, uh, I'm going to preface this by saying uh, early on in my career, I was fortunate to lo- enough to take an a, a interview and an interrogation course by uh, Wicklander Zulowski. I don't even know if they're together anymore, this partnership, but, but it's about really excellent interviewing. And oh my gosh, it was the most fascinating course that I've ever taken. Uh, and uh, I'll never forget it. But with that being said, there is a book that they wrote. It's called Practical Aspects of Interview and Interrogation. And then uh, the Practical Aspects of Criminal and Forensic Investigations. Um, I, I won't get too much into this, but um, you know, maybe it's a book that you need to check out. It's an older book. Uh, maybe you can pick it up. I, I'll have an Amazon link for you. But um, if you want to take your interviewing skills to a, the next level, this may be want to be a, a book you want to take a look at and see if it's a good fit for you. All right, we've we've come to the end, and at the end here, I have one book remaining for you, and it is um, the Five Minute Journal. It's not even a book. But um, I am a big believer in personal development and um, and gratitude. And with the five minute journal, it gives you a chance at the end of the day to uh, just take moments, just just a little bit of time to go. What am I thankful for? And some of the the best seasons in my business with my wife has been when uh, I took the time to be thankful and uh, so uh, that's what I would uh, ask you guys to take a look at. Take a look at this five minute journal and and just and, and, and pick it up. I can't remember how much it is, but it's totally worth it where you can just write down um, what you know what you accomplished that day, what you're thankful for and and even consider this and this a friend of mine who's also another health coach had had brought this to my attention because it never occurred to me to have a gratitude journal but she would say things like you know i'm thankful for my eyes that i can see and my hands and my fingertips that i can grab things how lucky am i to be able to do that some people can't do that some people can't see i'm thankful for every breath that i get to take or my heart's beating Um, or my wife i'm so thankful for her or my spouse or my kids or the roof over my head, the simple things, right? That your stomach's full every, every day because you know we're we're blessed enough to live in this country, and and you know, you know, best country in the world in my opinion, right? The United States. If you're listening from another country, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a little biased, but I think you get the idea, right? Wherever you're from, listening to this, um, just being thankful for for what you have. If you have other books that you would recommend, definitely let me know about it. Uh, I do I do believe there's that technical side, you know, the skill set side, and then there's the, the soft skill side. Both are very important in this business, especially if you want to grow. I hope you found this podcast um, valuable to you. I hope you found some nuggets in here. And I hope you pick up some of these books. And again, I'm going to have links. In, and I'm a, by the way, I'm an affiliate for Amazon. So if you buy the book through my link, I will get a little small commission for that. Um, but again, I'll have the links on the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. The last thing I'll leave you with is my little ad for the private investigator advice templates. Definitely take a look at that. We've got the surveillance report template, the video walkthrough there. We got the retainer agreement. We have the intake sheet. We have uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Anyways, take a look at it. See if it's a good fit for you. The bundle's cheaper than doing them individually. Uh, You can definitely do them individually if you want. But uh, that's it, guys. All right. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next podcast. See you later.